I got a big thing planned for today. Uh, we're going to be going over the Windows 10 scripts. I've kind of done this script two or three times in the past. It was the first iteration this past time speeding up Windows 10. Uh, mainly did that just because uh, I wanted to combine a lot of the deep load and a lot of the things I do as a system admin. Uh, so that's why I made that script. But the script, I think we can improve depending on your circumstances, you might need another version of that. So that's why I am doing this stream and we're gonna, you know, get f live feedback and actually make multiple scripts. Uh, right now, it's just kind of a middle of the road, installs most things that people will want and does most settings, uh, but we're gonna do it a little bit better than that this time. Uh, we're gonna make at least two scripts. One's gonna be a minimal script that pretty much everyone can run. It's just settings that is just good for everyone, uh, such as making sure updates don't take over, making sure you de-bloat, uh, unless you, you're a lover of Candy Crush, and well, I'm sorry, these probably are not gonna be for you. Uh, but needless to say, it will minimize everything, and that minimal script, pretty much you can run on any machine, and those settings are gonna be pretty universal. So uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to just clone my GitHub project and we'll start working on that script. We're going to start with the base script here, uh, which I think, yeah, I already have it in here. We're going to just do a poll, just making sure I don't have any things and we're going to start editing the script. So let's uh, copy our script. We're going to start with the minimal first. I figure folks will probably want that the most because you can run that on everything. So we're going to just take this and we're going to make a minimal PS1. So this is the script that uh, pretty much every knows from the speed up Windows 10 video. This installs a lot of different things. I'll go over this script just so you understand what's going on with it first. Uh, so this one requires admin privileges to run, dir. <laughs> and as far as the external program setup, this is where some folks didn't like it it would install a lot of the programs I like, like Chocolatey, uh, there's Adobe 7-Zip, Notepad++, and Media Player Classic, which, you know, just depends on what you got going on. It then does a de-bloat of all Windows apps. It disables telemetry, Wi-Fi sense, smart sense, screen, web search. Most of this stuff, most people don't want, but there's some people, I, I did get a couple, which uh, if you look, ah, if you look right here, where it says location tracking and map updates, it does disable location tracking and map updates. So if you do use like mapping software or something on your computer, I know some folks on like using laptops do actually utilize this. So that's just one thing, but let's go ahead for the minimal script. We're gonna need to take out some stuff because there's some preferences in here that people don't like, such as note player plastic. Uh, we're gonna get rid of Adobe too, and we'll, go through this just to see if there's anything else map updates and location feedback uh i'm gonna say most people don't want to be tracked but uh i think we're gonna leave this as a disable in here but if you wanted to just simply uh, we're gonna find something you're gonna see how to enable these if there's something in here just fork the script and, and you'll be able to do this yourself as well i would recommend probably setting this to high if you're deploying this out to a bunch of workstations or uh, you know, a whole bunch of computers you have to manage, but for most people in the audience, I think you, you like UAC on low. Disable firewall, we definitely don't want that. Uh, we're gonna leave that, so we're gonna just go ahead, just get rid of this section, and uh, we're gonna just exit that. We're just gonna enable that firewall. Disable Defender Cloud. This is another one we need to probably leave enabled, so let's let's just take care of that real fast. Disable meltdown flag. I, you know, so here's here's my opinion. When it comes to meltdown and spectry, you, you see this all the time on YouTube videos. You know, hey, this virus is out. This is gonna really, you know, make you insecure. All this, all the, these different things. How these are exploited, it, it's kind of like almost like a proof of concept. So, in business, you you want to you know, everything CYA, you know, cover cover your own uh, your own. And uh, <laughs> for this, I'm gonna just say, 
for a personal computer, I would disable Meltdown. I just, it, if, if you're an Intel user, definitely, uh, because you're just, it costs you so much performance. And I'm talking like 10 or 20 performance in some generations of processors. So like i7, i9s that are uh, probably two or three generations old, man, you, you lose like up to almost 30% performance from some of that. So disabling the Meltdown compat flag is actually pretty beneficial for you. We need to enable Defender. That's probably gonna be a setting for a minimal. Most people are gonna want Defender. And everything else here looks pretty solid. Security wise, this will be a little more secure, but it will be having a little more processes running. Just know if there is something in here that you use and I disable, again, this is how I'm modifying the script. It's, it's pretty simplistic. Now we are gonna go deeper dives than just what we're doing. These these commands are just calling subroutines. We will go and actually edit some of these subroutines because this script, while it's good, every script can always be better. So we're gonna we're gonna change some stuff that I kind of nagged in me as well. All right, uh, service tweaks. Pretty much we got a lot of disables here. I'm leaving remote desktop on. If you don't have any intention of remote desktop for security reasons, disable uh, remote desktop, otherwise called as RDP. If I say RDP, just know I'm referring to remote desktop. Disable file delete confirm. Uh, most people don't even know about shift delete. If you're if you ever want to permanently delete a, a file on your Windows box and skip the recycle bin, hold shift and press delete. It'll actually permanently delete that file. So that's a fun little shortcut. All right, enable num lock. I do have dark mode down here, so uh, I'll probably leave dark mode on. I usually like dark mode quite a bit. This is an interesting option right here, guys. This set explorer to this PC. Uh, a lot of times. You, you don't realize it, but you actually go to quick access by default on Windows Explorer. All right. Um, I think we're done with this portion. I think we're pretty much done with what we're calling from here. So this is what it is. Uh, this was actually a combination of debloat scripts and the disassembler. So um, I think we're pretty much done with this. We're doing a more minimal setup on this one. So let's just save that out. And we're going to go ahead and push minimal and that's done so we've already pushed it to our script so we can jump into windows and we'll just pull up github and run this script and see where we're at all right so this is more of a minimal script we should be able to run this pretty much on any any system so here is our minimal script we just committed I'm trying to think of the best way to execute this we'll probably clean it up and do a one-liner after bit for now we're just going to go old school and run it uh with uh, no execution policy so this isn't going to be the way you'll do it. Uh, we'll do a one-liner, uh, much like I've done done in the past. But for now, let's just go ahead and download this guy. Just download. Let's go ahead and run this with PowerShell. I think we actually need to elevate this. Yeah, uh, never mind. It should self-elevate unless our execution policy is off. Now, it's going to work. All right, uh, let's run that script one more time. That was a little done, a little quick, but this time let's edit it a little bit and take out that reboot because I wanted to see if we had any issues with that. So, you know what? I think we can just run it from here. Should self elevate. Ah, crap. Yeah. Uh, oh well. Apparently not. <laughs> we'll just set the execution policy. All right, here we go. All right. Um, let's see how this script did. Are we still at sitting at 130? No. We dropped about 20 processes on the minimal. Um, however, that utilization, man, that's solid. Like that utilization's pretty darn low. Um, so not bad. Minimal shouldn't mess anything up. But if it does, we went ahead and added that restore point. So if you ever need to go, oh my God, Titus, you messed up my computer. You should be able to just go da, 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 restore. And then you can say, okay, restore to this point in time. 